Hello, hi everyone. Second year Max 2A probability chapter. Remaining four mass questions. Seven terms we are going to learn in this video. What is the seventh question? The probability for a contractor to get road contract is two by three. To get building contract is five by nine. And the probability of at least one contract is four by nine. Then find the probability that will get both contracts. Okay. First, we have to understand the question. He is given some information uh, in that uh, the probability of road contract is two by three. And the second one, the probability of building contract is five by nine. Let us take this is P of B probability of B five by nine. This is probability of A two by three. And at least one contract. So at least one contract means what? We have only four options. One is probability of B. One is probability of B. Second one probability of A and B, and next probability of A intersection B. So P of A first one two by three. This is very clear. Next one building contract becomes taken as five by nine. At least one contract means either A or B. So that is four by nine. And what is asking? Find the probability that we get both contracts. So both contract means what is P of A intersection B? This is the question. So we know about the relation between what is among these terms. P of A and B equal P of A plus P of B minus P of A. So using that formula, we can get the answer. Is it clear? So now uh, write down step by step. First, given that not given that. First, assume let uh, uh, road contract let A. An event, let an event capital A is road contract. Is road contract. Then immediately the probability of road contract becomes two by three. So this is just rough work. So we have to write in this way step by step. Next to let uh, an event capital B is about building contract. Is about Building contract. Then what is the probability of building contract? That is probability of B. So what is given? Five by nine. Five by nine right up. Next to then at least one contract. So probability of probability of at least one contract. That is taken as P of A in N B. So that is given as four by nine. So what is asking? Find probability of both contracts. Both contracts. That is probability of A intersection B is equal to how much? This is the question. So we know that the condition, the formula, that is P of A and B equal P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. So what is P of A in B that is given as four by nine? Next, what is P of A two by three? Next, P of B five by nine, and P of A intersection B how much? That we have to find that is not given. So this is term should be formed. So bring left side, it becomes P of A intersection B plus P of A intersection. B. So what are the remaining terms? Two by three and five by nine. So this one center right side becomes minus four by nine. So by solving this, we can get the answer. <coughs> What is the LCM of three nine nine? So nine is the LCM. In three table, it comes in three times. So three into two, six. Next plus is there nine nine same term. Nine table one time one into five five. Next minus is there in nine table it comes in one times one into four four. So six plus five eleven. Eleven minus four. How much? Seven. So seven by is nine is the required answer. Got it. So let's go to next problem. Okay, next next A question. If capital A comma B comma C are three events, then show that probability of A union B union C is equal to probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C minus probability of A intersection B minus probability of B intersection C minus probability of C intersection A plus probability of A intersection B intersection. is that question so friends uh, if you are newly watching please subscribe our channel and also share with your intermediate students and intermediate friends okay so we take lhs and then we can continue 
So what is LHS probability of A union B union C? Okay, LHS solution. So here I am considering A is one event and B union C as one union means probability of A union B union C. So probability of A union I am considering this is as one unit. So I can apply what is formula probability of A union B formula that is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So here A means A only. So B means B union C is there. So it can be written as probability of A plus what is the second one? I am considering this as one single term B union C minus this is complete and instead of this we have written and A intersection B is needed right. So A intersection B means here B union C. Is it clear? Yeah, very good. Next to probability of A. So now again we can rewrite this using same formula. So how to write A union B? For the same way we have to write for B union C. So what we can write tell me? Yeah, very good. Probability of B plus probability of C minus probability of B intersection C. Okay? Yeah. Next what is there? Minus probability of how to write this one? A intersection B union A intersection C. A intersection B union A intersection C. Like our simple multiplication. A intersection B next union A intersection C ok so for just have taken left place is not sufficient so probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C ok almost three terms we got minus probability of B intersection C minus ok completed so I am taking whole minus bracket so this one should be simplified Again, consider this is some A, this is some B. Okay? Let us think this is one event, this is another event. So, A union B formation. Same again. Okay? So, P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Okay? Now, minus multiply inside. Probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C minus probability of B intersection C minus P of A intersection B plus into minus minus P of A intersection C minus into minus plus P of C here A intersection B intersection A intersection C all are intersection ports and A repeated two times so we can write one time and B intersection C simply we can write in this way so you can check whether right hand side we got it or not yeah so just uh, write in order, that's it. Almost we have got the answer. Probability of A plus, probability of B plus, probability of C minus, probability of A intersection B minus, probability of B intersection C minus, probability of C intersection A plus, probability of A intersection B intersection C. This is the answer. Got it? Okay friends, let us see the next problem. Uh, and uh, three more problems are there. So, within these problems, we can complete this chapter. A bag contains 12 2 rupee kinds, 7 1 rupee kinds, 4 half rupee kinds. If 3 coins are selected random, then find the probability in that. So, first of all, let us see how many 2 rupee kinds are there? 12. How many 1 rupee kinds are there? 7. How many half rupee kinds are there? 4. First, I am listing that. So, given that uh, 2 rupee kinds. Number of 2 rupee coins. How many are there? 12. Next, number of 1 rupee coins. 1 rupee coins. How many are there? 7. Next, number of half rupee. Yeah, very good. Half rupee coins. How many are there? 4 are there. So total we are adding, how many kinds are there total? 4 plus 7, 11 plus 2, 13. So 23 kinds are there. Totally the bag contain, contains 23 coins in that 
12 are 450 kinds. 1, uh, one 7 are 150 kinds. 4 are half 50 kinds. Okay, this is the given information. Okay. What is the question? If 3 kinds are selected randomly, how many kinds are selected? 3 kinds are there. So, in uh, out of 23 coins selected 3 coins so how many ways it can be done can, uh, can be done in can be done in 23 c3 ways so this is taken as some n of s that is 23 c3 so this is put in box this is a very important thing Actually, probability means we have two formulas. Means both are same meaning. First, we know that the number of sum of observations by number of observations. Okay, that is one thing. Next one is uh, in terms of uh, events, n of a by n of s. This is the probability of a. So, like uh, probability of b means n of b by n of s. Probability of c means n of c by n of s. This is sample space. space. Sample space means total number of things in that. Okay. Now let us come into the question one by one. First one. What is the first one? The sum of three kinds is maximum. So which kinds sh should be taken to get maximum amount? See, among these all kind of kinds, I want maximum amount to, and uh, I have to take uh, three kinds only. So, which coins you can take? If you take uh, 2 rupee coins, you will get uh, 2, 3 are 6 rupees. You will get 1 rupee coins, 1, 3 are 3 rupees. You will get half rupee coins, one into, uh, half into 3, 1 and half rupees. Only. So, if you take uh, those 3 coins from 2 rupee coins, you will get a uh, maximum amount. Am I right? So, for first question, to get some of 3 coins maximum, we have to take uh, all 3 coins from 2 rupee coins only. Okay, so yeah, that's why I am writing. Let A be the event of 2 rupee kinds. 2 rupee kinds. How many 2 rupee kinds? 3 2 rupee kinds. Then number of A is equal from 12 coins, we have to select only 3. That is n of A equal. 12c3. So then the probability of maximum amount is n, C, n of a by n of s that is probability of a becomes 12c3 by 23c3. This is the first question also. What is first one? The sum of 3 coins is maximum. I think the next question you can do yeah, can you solve it? Same process. Second one. The sum of coins, sum of three kinds is minimum. So to get minimum amount, which kinds are to be taken? Yes, half rupee kinds should be taken. How many half rupee kinds are there? Four. In that four, how many should be taken? Three. So that is can be written as 4C3 base. Okay. So next row, letter B is the event of getting three half rupee coins half rupee coins out of how many are there four that is four c three so that means n of s n of b sorry n of b is four c three now the probability of b is equal n of b by n of s that is 4C3 by total how many are there? 23C3. So this is the answer. Next third one. What is third question? Each coin is different value. Each coin is different value means 1 from 2, 12, 2 rupee coins, 1 from uh, 1 rupee coin, 1 from half rupee coin. So how to write? Let C is the event of getting 1 from 12 2 rupee kinds 1 from uh, how many are there 7 
सेवन वन रूटी वन फ्रॉम हाउ मेनी हाफ रूटी काइंस फोर हाफ रूटी काइंस सो दिस इज एन ऑफ सी टेक एस वन फ्रॉम ट्वेल ट्वेल सी वन वन फ्रॉम सेवन वन रूटी सेवन सी वन वन फ्रॉम हाफ रूटी फोर सी वन सो दिस इज एन ऑफ सी नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सी दैट इज एन ऑफ सी बाय एन ऑफ एस so that is equal to 12c1 means 12 7c1 means 7 4c1 means 4 23c3 no need to simplify this values up to here if you write that is enough you will be awarded full marks no problem is it clear so this type of problems we have seen in the permutations and combinations four marks important questions like seven batsmen four bowlers at least two batsmen like the, those type of questions we can see that Okay. Next, our tenth question is a simple, small question. Let a comma b are independent events. Then show that a bar and b bar are also independent events. First of all, what do you mean by independent events? Independent events means in our uh, chapter, probability of a intersection b equal, probability of a intersection b equal, probability of a into probability of b. This is the meaning of a and b are independent events. Means it doesn't depend on any event. So given that a comma b are independent events, independent events, that means probability of a is be called p of a into p of b. So this information will be useful in the following solution. And what we have to show a bar b bar also independent. A bar b bar also independent means a bar intersection b bar is also p of a bar into p of b bar. This we have to prove. We should show this. We have to prove that. So take probability of a bar intersection b bar. How can we rewrite this? Using sets, it can be written as a bar intersection b bar can be written as a union b whole bar. Okay. we can see these formulas in sets chapter so now again uh, one more the probability of a bar means what 1 minus probability of a because of we know the formula is probability of a plus probability of a bar equal to 1 so like that we p of a center it should becomes minus p of a like that probability of a union b whole bar can be written as 1 minus probability of a union b now we know what is probability of a union b In the previous problems also we have seen this formula. That is p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b. So to this term before minus is there, so that's why I kept bracket. Now simplifying this minus one minus p of b minus into plus minus p of b minus into minus plus p of a intersection b. So now first two writing as this be one minus p of b. And next to remaining two terms, I'm taking. Sorry, here uh, we can simplify. Probability of a intersection b means what we can write? Yes, from here, from first p of a into p of b. Since from equation one, we can write instead of this. This can be written. So now this keeping minus minus p of a as in bracket. Next to remaining two terms, take p of b comma. Taking p of b comma. What are the remaining terms? If you take p of b, nothing means one is there. Here minus also I am taking before bracket minus is there. So in plus sir, we can get minus term remaining p of b. See here one minus p of b, here one minus p of b. Again one minus p of b I am taking comma. The remaining here nothing means one minus and here from p of b comma. 1 minus p of a means what again p of a bar into 1 minus p of b means what p of b bar so got it p of a bar into section b bar equal p of a bar into p of b bar. so therefore a bar and b bar are also independent events okay write down solution come simple question is it clear first of p of a bar into b bar intersection b bar it should be simplified this can be written as a union b whole bar p of a union b whole bar means 1 minus p of a union b according to this formula next p of a union b means p of a plus p of b minus p of a b simplify and take common we get answer okay 
Okay, friends. Next eleventh question. One more question is there. Until that, watch. If two numbers are selected randomly from twenty consecutive natural numbers, okay. How many natural numbers are given? Twenty. First, I am writing given that twenty uh, natural numbers. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points are twenty. How many are there? Twenty. So obviously, in this twenty natural numbers, ten even numbers are there. Ten odd numbers are there. Am I right? Odd means what? One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven odd numbers. Okay. How many we get? Ten. Next, what are the even numbers? Two, four, six, eight, so on. So these are even numbers. Okay. Two, four. This is rough work. No need to write. One, three, five, seven, so on. So odd numbers. Simply to know about it. Ah, coming to the question. So in the two numbers are selected. How many numbers are selected? Two numbers are selected from twenty consecutive numbers. So n of s means two are selected, selected from twenty natural numbers. Twenty numbers means what? From twenty selecting two. So n of s is equal twenty c two. We got for us. Coming to the first question. What is first question? And even number. What is an? The sum of two numbers. Sum of two numbers. Sum of two numbers is even. So tell me, if you add two numbers, either we get or odd or even. Once check it. Two uh, plus four. How much? Six. Eight plus four. Twelve. Four plus two. Six. Four plus six. Ten. So, however, you add two even numbers, you are getting again even. Don't you understand? Four plus six, how much? Ten. Very good. Is ten even? Yes, ten even. Uh, some eighteen plus twenty, how much? Thirty-eight. Is it even? Yes, even. So, if you add two events, we get again even number. Okay, how many are there? Ten are there. How many are there? Ten even. So ten, you take uh, any two and add, you will get even number. So ten is it. What about odd numbers? One plus three, four is also even. Five plus one, six also even. Some nineteen plus uh, seven, twenty six is also even. So out of ten odd numbers, take any two odd numbers and add, you will get again even number. So if you add both. If two even numbers, we are getting even. If you add both odd numbers, also we are getting even. So how many odd numbers are there? Ten. Out of ten, two selection. Out of ten even numbers, two selection. So ten C two into ten C two. Okay. This is for the sum of even numbers. The sum of two numbers is even numbers. Okay. So what we can write here? We can write the statement as two numbers. We can. We can. Select any two from ten even. That implies ten C two, and uh, and also and also can be selected can be selected two from ten R ten R. So this is ten C two base. So that implies the number of possibility ways. So let A is the event of sum of two numbers is even. So n of A equal what is formula? N of sorry probability of A equal okay. So I am writing n of A. N of A equal 10 C2 into 10 C2. 10 C2 into okay. Sorry, here either we have to take two numbers from even or from odd. So we should take a plus. So this we have to remember. Either we can take two numbers from even or from odd. 
so we are getting or symbol so plus should be taken so now probability of a is equal to n of a by n of s so 10c2 plus 10c2 two 10c is are there so two 2 into 10c2 by n of s what 20c2 this is the answer for first question similarly for second question sum of two numbers is odd number so however you add two even numbers we are not getting odd and if you add two odd numbers also we are not getting r so what we can do take one from even one from odd if you take one from even two if you take one from odd some five two plus five seven odd so to get a second condition we have to take one from even number and one from odd number immediately. So here end we are using whenever we use end immediately take multiplication. Here all we are using plus. So we get a n of b becomes 10c1 into 10c1. Is it clear? So for that write matter and substitute. How to write matter? Let b is even of sum of two numbers. Sum of Two numbers is odd. So for that to, to get sum of odd number uh, two numbers odd, so take take one from ten even and one from ten odd. So that is n of b equal ten c one into ten c one. So now probability of b becomes n of b by n of s. That is 10 C1 into 10 C1 by 20 C2. This is the answer. Okay. So write down this one and after that, after this, this is the final answer. Okay. So thank you for watching. One more problem is there. Please subscribe our channel. Okay. Uh, last question in this four mass questions. These are enough. So uh, again, I am asking if you are newly watching or if you do not subscribe till now, please subscribe immediately and click uh, like button, give comment. And also share with your friends also. Now, so last question. This is an important question. The probabilities of three events A, B, C are such that probability of A, probability of B, C, A plus B. So all are given. He is asking uh, P of B intersection C lies in 0.23 comma 0.48 close interval. That we have to prove. So these are the given information. So it's written as T is B. So this I am going to continue. See, actually here, P of A in B in C is greater than or equal to 0.75. So, this value is greater than 0.75. This value is greater than 0. Means, this value is less than. Yeah, probability of A in B in C is less than or equal to 1. How can we write less than or equal to 1? Because of every probability is maximum up to 1 only, minimum 0. So it lies between generally 0 to 1. But here this value is more than 0 0.75. So, so the probability value is always more than 0 0.75 to up to 1. So this is taken as equation 1. Okay, keep it as it is equation 1. First, of all, what is P of A in and B in C? Let us find. So generally P of A in and B in and C means you know the formula that is P of A plus P of B minus P, sorry P of C minus P of A intersection B minus P of B intersection C minus P of C intersection A plus P of A intersection B intersection C. Subset values what is P of A? 0 0.3 plus P of B 0 0.4 plus P of C 0 0.8 minus A intersection B 0 0.08 minus B intersection C, we don't have C intersection A, 0 0.28 sorry, B intersection C as it is right now we have B intersection C minus C intersection A is 0 0.28 plus A intersection B intersection C is 0 0.09 first two adding force values how much? 3, 4, 7, 8 1.5 uh, 1.59 C 0 0.3, 0 0.4 4, 0 0.8, 0 0.09. Nothing is there. 9, 3, 4, 7, 8, 15, point, 1 point, 5, 9. Next, negative terms. Minus 0 0.08 and uh, minus 0 0.28 becomes 
minus 0 0.36 minus 0 0.36 minus p of b intersection c so this is all about p of a intersection a and b and c so subtract 0 0.36 from 1.59 1.59 0 0.36 subtract 9 minus 6 3 5 minus 3 2 1 1.23 so 1.23 minus 0 0.36 so this is about p of a union b union c okay is it clear so substitute this value in equation 2 so can i remove this so substitute substitute 2 in 1 so immediately we can get 0 0.75 less than or equal p of a union b union c means 1.23 minus uh, sorry minus p of b intersection c 1.23 minus p of b intersection c then after less than or equal to 1 so now uh, to remove 1.23 both sides minus 1.23 subtract 1.23 so then 0 0.75 minus 1.23 less than or equal to 1.23 minus p of b intersection c minus 1.23 less than or equal to 1 minus 1.23 so obviously cancel less than or equal to we get just simply minus p of b intersection c so here uh, subtract 1.23 from 7.5 means 1.23 0 0.75 second minus 5 8 11 minus 1 4 so 0 0.48 and that is minus 0 0.48 and here 1 minus 1 by 2 means minus 2.3 all are negatives so multiply with uh, minus we get uh, positive and uh, it becomes reverse it becomes reverse so 0 0.23 less than or equal probability of p intersection c less than or equal 0 0.48 here what we have done multiply with minus and um, multiply with minus that's it so we get that means what p of b intersection c values start from 0 0.3 end with 0 0.4 that means what probability of b intersection c always lies between 0 0.23 comma 0 0.48 this is the answer got it lies between so friends this is the solution this is important question for 4 marks uh, 12 4 marks questions are uh, learned in this chapter out of the 12 uh, most what are the important are also I have mentioned so please subscribe our channel and share with your friends again and again I am saying please subscribe don't get irritated so thank you for watching thank you very much so chala man ke doubt on the deleted deleted and for the videos ki deleted aim ayithe unnayo konni maps rame pending unnai avi add chestunna okay so kabatti no problem previous videos ki oka konni videos pending unnai avi add chestunte manaki sari pothe exam lo ee sari kuda 75 easy ga teskochu andulo doubt e ledhu ilanti doubt lekunda follow avvandi okay